Hello, everybody. My name is Michael Windel. I'm a technical trainer at Heidenheim, and today I'd like to explain the new workpiece measurement function of the TNC7. Workpiece measurement graphically supports us directly on the control screen when measuring simple as well as complex workpieces. I no longer need to know which probing function needs to be run in which sequence. Instead, I have just this one new function, and it is used to measure the workpiece step by step. So, let's take a look at it right here in the control. Under the probing functions, I see workpiece setup, and I can then choose my 3D model. A quick check of the preview to make sure it's correct, and then open it. Here on the screen, we see that the 3D model is placed on the table. And I can move it into position using the axis keys until it is located in the vise. As we can see, the probe has already detected the workpiece, but the arrow is still red. That means I can't start the probing function yet. As soon as the arrow is green, I can press NC Start to begin the probing process, and the first point is measured. Then I position to the left side, and then go down, and then trigger the second probing point. The TNC7 has detected the workpiece, and now I can measure it from the front as well. The first probing point and the second probing point. Our traffic lights show that X, Y and Z have already been fully measured, but the rotation at the bottom is still missing. I need a second probing point there. Then I confirm that with NC Start and the workpiece is now completely aligned. Now I can see with the traffic lights, as well as down here in the diagram, that the measuring points fit together well. I can compensate with the active preset, save the preset directly, and the workpiece has now been probed completely. Now we've clamped a more complex workpiece, simply to show you what all the workpiece measurement function of the TNC7 is capable of. Now the more complex workpiece. In our example, it is an impeller that needs reworking. I've already opened the impeller and set the first probing points. We see here that the traffic lights are currently orange and green. We then directly start the next probing point in order to continue measuring the impeller. We see that the probing points are set and the presets in X, Y and Z have been measured. Now we go up to the impeller's flange surface and set the next point. As long as we are already up here on the surface, we'll set a third point for the surface orientation. The result shows us that the impeller has already been measured very well. Everything is green. Now, however, I want to check a measurement inside one of the blades. So, during setup, I can now easily tilt the A axis and then position the touch probe inside the blade area. Here we see the point on an undercut surface. We can easily probe it with the workpiece measurement function. The control now has all of the required information about the 3D model, and we can also set an inspection point here. The impeller is now fully aligned. 
It doesn't matter if, on the one hand, it is just a simple workpiece that we want to probe quickly in order to start the machining operation, or if, on the other hand, it is a pre-machined workpiece. It could be a milled part that was already machined in a different clamping situation. It could also be a cast part, or a welded part, or an impeller with a very complex geometrical contour, as we saw here. The TNC-7 thus provides new application possibilities that we just didn't have earlier. So please, get in touch with us if you have any questions.